Hello friends, it's Angelina and Dima here. In this video we're going to share with you a unique model of a hiking flashlight. This model is designed specifically for those hikers who are into ultralight backpacking and are always searching for the ways to reduce the weight of their pack. It seems to be one of the lightest flashlights we've ever held, yet at the same time it's one of the most versatile flashlights with the ability to adapt to various situations. So let's get into the review. It weighs only 53 grams, despite being made of a combination of materials. Its front side is made of aluminum, while the back side is made of plastic. The built-in battery has a capacity of 400 mAh. Flashlight comes with its own branded case with a lock, which is the first flashlight that came with its own additional case. Additionally, the case contains a charging cable and a fastening for additional attachment to anything. Flashlight has a very unusual construction. It has two rotating axes, allowing it to be adapted to any task. While the main body of the flashlight is made of plastic, its lightweight design ensures sufficient durability without adding unnecessary weight. As mentioned earlier, the flashlight can be rotated around its axis. The main axis has no restrictions, allowing you to rotate the flashlight as needed. The secondary axis has limitations. There are locks that hold the flashlight in the desired position during rotation. And we've already appreciated this feature, it's truly convenient and not every flashlight can boast such versatility. On the front side we see the main reflector, which is recessed inside, supported by an aluminum ring. This is a very good solution because when the flashlight is in the backpack with other items, its reflector can easily get scratched. This reflector is very well protected from accidental damage. It also serves as an additional protection against accidental drops on rocky surfaces. Next to it is a diffusing reflector, designed exclusively for red light. This light isn't very bright, which is good, especially if you're going to stealth camp, avoiding unnecessary attention. On the side of the flashlight there is a rubberized power button, slightly recessed below the base of the body. And it's pressed quite firmly, which is good and can help prevent accidental presses in the backpack. On the other side of the flashlight there is a Type-C charging port, protected by a rubberized cover. This cover has side flanks that tightly seal the port, providing confidence that moisture won't get inside. On the back of the flashlight there is a magnet, another unusual feature of this device. If you have something metallic nearby, this flashlight can be easily attached to it, and thanks to its rotating axis, you can adjust the light in the direction you need. We've tested this additional function and it works perfectly. The flashlight holds easily and doesn't fall because of its low weight. The flashlight also comes with an adjustable strap made of pleasant to touch material. The side that goes to the hat has a velvety feel. Adjusting the strap is done similarly to many other models. The strap can be easily removed from the flashlight, which is very convenient because the flashlight can be used without the strap by simply attaching it to the magnet. As for the modes, it doesn't have many different modes. It has three main brightness modes. 50 lumens, 100 lumens and 200 lumens. In these modes, we didn't notice any heating of the device, so it's safe to assume that it can work for a long time in these modes. There's also a turbo mode that outputs 500 lumens, but it's worth remembering that this turbo mode consumes a lot of energy, and therefore the flashlight begins to heat up. Also, it's important to note that in turbo mode the flashlight operates only for about a minute, after which it automatically switches to the 200 lumen mode. But you have the option to turn it back on in turbo mode, it is not particularly dangerous for the device. The only thing is that you'll quickly drain your battery. To turn on the flashlight you need to briefly press the power button. Since the flashlight doesn't have memory, it always turns on at 200 lumens. Then a brief press of the button activates the 100 lumen mode. And using the same principle, the 50 lumen mode. To activate turbo mode, hold the power button for half a second. To turn on the red light mode, you need to quickly press the power button twice. This switches the flashlight to red mode. The flashlight also has an SOS mode when the red light begins to flash. To activate it, simply press the button again. So what conclusions can we draw about this flashlight? Let's start with its advantages. It's a very lightweight device, and if you are looking for a flashlight with minimal weight, you may take a look at this model. The flashlight has two rotating axes, which perform very well in various situations. This is a very good solution and everyone can find a use for it. The magnet also helps to attach the flashlight to any metallic surfaces. The additional case is a nice bonus. It can store not only the flashlight itself, but also other small items, like flashcards or something else. What in our opinion is lacking in this flashlight? It lacks a diffused lighting mode. Only red light is available. 
on each of the modern flashlights we reviewed, there is an additional mode with diffuse lighting, which is a very useful function that we'd like to see in this flashlight too. Although the power button is bouncy, you never know what might accidentally press it in the backpack. The flashlight doesn't have a lock mode to prevent accidental presses. We have experience using a flashlight without the lock mode, and it happened quite often when the flashlight turned on inside the backpack, fully draining the battery. This was very disappointing for us during the hike. Of course, the flashlight comes with its own case, which can prevent accidental presses, but sometimes you just want to put the flashlight separately without the case, and then it can happen. It doesn't have the memory. It always turns on at its full power. Not always do we need to turn on the flashlight at its maximum brightness, but we have no choice. And this flashlight will always turn on at full brightness level. Turning off the flashlight also isn't done with a single press of the button. You need to cycle through all brightness modes, and only then will it turn off. The flashlight lacks battery charge indication. Some might say that this is unnecessary, but we would still like to have an idea of how much charge is left, and whether it needs to be recharged or not. Perhaps to some, these functions may not be critical, but we found them lacking in this flashlight. The brightness of this flashlight seemed quite low to us, but this can be explained by its small 400 mAh battery. The main advantage of this flashlight is its low weight and incredible flexibility in mounting. You can attach it anywhere. And this concludes our review for today. We are looking forward to your comments. Maybe you have a different impression of this device? Share it with us, as it's very important for us to hear your feedback. If we miss something, you can add to the information in the comments, and it might help people to choose their perfect flashlight for hiking. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye!